Can we build an AI agent using SharePoint and Microsoft 365 Copilot in under eight minutes? One that can give our team instant answers from a range of documents without them needing to read hundreds of pages or rely on a keyword search. Well, today we're about to find out together. But the thing is, this kind of power, well, it fell out of reach. And years ago, I even managed software development teams. And honestly, achieving something like this in eight days, let alone eight minutes, well, that would have been quite a stretch. Well, what should we focus our agent on then? Well, how about we connect our new agent to a fictional human resources SharePoint site with hundreds of pages of policies and procedures. And it means our team members, well, they can ask questions of the agent that they need help with without the need to browse through all of those policies. And they end up with a quick answer, super easy. And also it reduces the burden on a human resources team because they often need to respond to emails to point out something that was already in the policy to begin with. That's something our agent can now do for the team. And before we dive in and create our agent, over 90% of people who watch this channel aren't subscribed, and that might even be yourself. If you're finding these videos helpful and you want to keep learning more about Microsoft 365 every single week, then can you do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button? It really helps us create more content every week, and I do truly appreciate your support. So let's get into it and see if we can build an agent in less than eight minutes. So let's start that timer and begin to create our Copilot agent. To do that, well, the first step I'm gonna use is Copilot Chat. Yes, there'll be no agents being built just right now, but in Copilot Chat, using the web tab, I'm gonna ask Copilot to create me a set of custom instructions for our agent, outlining its specific purpose and also where to find more information. We can now see that Copilot Chat has came back with some information that we can now use for our custom instructions. I can very simply copy and paste this into the agent to then ensure it's gonna work in the best possible way with our end users when it comes to answering questions all around our policies. With our instructions now set, let's also head on the left-hand side of Copilot Chat and select Create. And I can now ask Copilot to create us an icon for Ask HR. Select Style, and I'll also choose an anime style and select Create. And now Copilot will come up with an image that we can now use for our own agent. With our icon now created, let's go ahead and download it by selecting download in the top right and download it to my own computer. We'll use this later when we go and build our agent. Now let's head over to our HR site and I've already accessed the policies folder where all of our policies now reside. There's hundreds of pages across all of these different policies, making it hard for our team understand the relevant answer to a specific question. All we now need to do is highlight all the documents and then select create an agent from the ribbon bar inside of SharePoint. Take us in to the create your agent dialogue. It already provides a name for the agent which we'll also tailor later and references all the files we're gonna be using as part of this agent's knowledge. Now we'll go ahead and select edit to open up the agent builder and we can begin to customize how our agent looks and feels. Firstly, let's give our agent a name. I'll call this Ask HR. We'll then select change for our icon and browse over to the icon that we created just a moment ago. Bringing this now in, we can see our new icon for our new agent. I'm also gonna provide a brief description of this agent's objective to design to help questions around HR policies and procedures. Head over to the sources tab and we'll immediately see that its knowledge is already built of all of these different PDF policies. We've also left this checked here, which basically states that prioritizing this knowledge being all of the PDF policies, they'll be used before the agent's own general knowledge. Yes, that'll be its focus and its priority when it comes to answering questions from our end users, which is exactly what I need. Let's now head over to behavior and we can now begin to make a few changes. For example, under the welcome messaging, we can adjust this to also make people aware what Ask HR is all around and then also give it some starter prompts. I'll go ahead and paste these in now. With those now added in, you can see here the starter prompts are also shown. How do I request annual leave? What is the office dress code? And who should I advise of being out of the office due to illness? They're questions that our Ask HR agent can also help with. 
but also you'll remember that we had agent instructions which were created with Copilot Chat. We can now left click into this box and remove the default content, now pasting in that information that Copilot Chat generated all around our custom instructions on how our agent should behave. On the right hand side, we can see all these changes have now been made and we can preview the agent. How about we ask it a quick question to make sure it's working as it should be. We can do that by one of our starter prompts. How do I request annual leave? Sending this into our new agent, it'll look through all of those PDF policies to come back with the relevant answer. And there we go. We can now see the answers come back from our agent, identifying the process that we need to take to also request leave or from our own employee handbook. Let's go ahead and click save and close to save our agent. With our agent now saved, my next step I'm going to do is make it an approved agent for use in our HR site. To achieve that, I'll select the agent or the co-pilot icon in the top right of our SharePoint site. In the dialog that appears, we'll see the Ask HR Agent. Select the freed up menu and now select Set as Approved. This now ensures it's an approved agent for this site, which is a really good way of letting people know what are the right agents to use when it comes to using your site, such as a HR site, which is really important. With our agent now completed and approved for use on our HR site, we can also open agents in the Copilot sidebar once again. By selecting Ask HR, this time in the freed up menu, we're going to select it as the site default. This now means that as we can see here, the agent will be automatically available at launch. Yes, it won't be set to the SharePoint site scoped agent known as the knowledge agent. Instead, Ask HR now becomes a default. But let's also make it easier for my team members to work with this agent because not everyone may go and click on the agents or the co-pilot option in the top right of the SharePoint site. Instead, let's add a button that can connect and open up our agent. By editing our SharePoint homepage, on the right hand side above how do I, I'm going to click on the plus icon to add a new web part or app part. Select agent link and then click on set up your agent link. In the agent search box, go ahead and type in the agent's name, such as Ask HR. By left clicking, we can now see it appears inside of our page. I'll go ahead and click on republish. This now means that when someone visits the site, well, they'll now have easy access to open up Ask HR without relying on that co-pilot or your agent button in the top right. We can give it a go by left clicking Ask HR and now it opens up the right hand side dialog. And now we can give our agent a bit of a try. First off, let's ask our agent what is the office dress code? And we'll see that the agent only pulls information once again from all those policies added to the folder. It doesn't look elsewhere to provide the relevant result. We can see this by its focus point stating that the company requires a professional appearance and two other points found within our employee handbook, which was a PDF file. But that also means that the agent cannot answer questions it doesn't have information about. And we can also try another scenario. This limitation in its knowledge around what its, its purpose is and all those PDFs. I mean, if I give it a question, what's the best location to eat in London? Well, would I ask that question of HR normally? Well, probably not. And as you can see, the agent also backs this up. At the moment, I don't have access to information about restaurants or dining locations in London. And it turns back the conversation. Instead, if you're talking around company events, team outings or preferred vendors for catering or hospitality, I'd be happy to check internal resources. Because of course, there may be information that may be stored in one of our policies. But that there is a great point to finish on. We now have an agent built inside of our SharePoint site that only answers relevant questions in relation to policies and procedures for HR. Exactly what I needed to ensure that me and the team get the information that we need really quickly without reading hundreds and hundreds of pages or just doing a keyword search in a PDF. So it took us around eight minutes and we built our very own knowledge agent powered by Microsoft 365 and SharePoint. And it was designed to give our team instant access to the answers that they need straight from all of our own content that was already in SharePoint to begin with. But there are also a few important points to keep in mind when building this type of knowledge agent in SharePoint. First, when I shared files with the agent, well, they were already accessible to the whole company with read-only access. 
If one of my colleagues doesn't have access to the file, Copilot can't answer questions from it. It's a really good safeguard, but it does mean you'll need to think carefully about permissions and access rights before you build an agent and publish it and find out people can't ask questions of it. Second, well, you'll need a license, either a Microsoft 365 Copilot paid license or access via the pay-as-you-go licensing model to use this agent. So there are some important considerations around licensing that you should consider as part of a cost-benefit analysis. But if you're now thinking, I want to go further with Copilot, please, Scott. Well, we know at Your365 Coach, we can help you get there. We've had thousands of people across the world get more from Microsoft 365 and Copilot. And we can do that through on-demand learning, structured training sessions, or spending time with our team. You'll find a link to our website below to get in contact and find out more. And other than that, if this video has helped you, hit the like button to let me know and that all important subscribe button and the bell icon so you won't be part of the 90% that don't subscribe. And other than that, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.